How's it going, everyone? This is Shadow Trainer 1030, and today I thought I'd bring you all another Jurassic World Alive gameplay. This time, I'm going to attempt to do a brand new Epic Strike Tower that is currently available until tomorrow by the time this video. When I do this video, I'm going to give you tips and tricks of how to take it down, my thoughts on it, and etc. Before I get into it, I do going to mention that I'm still doing the special giveaway if you're new to the channel and familiar with it. If my channel reaches 2,000 final subscribers, I'm going to randomly pick one winner to receive a $25 iTunes gift card. If my channel reaches 5,000 subscribers, I'm going to randomly pick one winner to receive a $50 iTunes gift card. But if my channel reaches 10,000 subscribers, I'm going to randomly pick one winner to receive a free copy of Pokemon Sword or Pokemon Shield. This special giveaway recently started and will end near this year. Once at that point, I'm going to count how many subscribers I have and pick one winner to receive the highest prize. More details will be at the end of the video. Be sure to share with your friends and family through social media. How much I grow, that would be appreciated. Alright, so now getting back on topic of today's video, to start off with, what are you dealing with with the Epic Strike Tower? If you take a look at the screen next to me, got our sticky Mohawk Epic Strike Tower. Dealing with level 30, Triceratops, level 30, Aenosaurus, and level 30, Sticky Mohawk itself. Let's go ahead and pick our core. Here we go. As usual, guys, you don't have to use exact dials here, just use it as a guide towards give you an idea of how to take it down. So I'm going to start with. Full Dolosaur. Sticky Mohawk. Doing the uh, sticky ball again, sticky ball like that too. I was right down. Be sure to check the out. I do recommend it. It was a pretty challenging one. <sighs> Let's go with uh, Alex Sphinx. And the thing I can say about the um, the battle arenas is that I'm a little. I do agree with a lot of people that it's really an unfair thing. And I say it because you're dealing with so many random stuff around. Like uh, players just get their uh, Dracoceratops up to like 130 speed, and it just makes no sense why would you do that? It's like there's other better dinosaurs you can use to, to increase the speed. And most of the time, you see players start up with a full Dolzar, which it makes no sense. Alright, so we pretty much won this thing, guys. So it wasn't too bad. So to counter this one, you have to use dancers that can bleed, are able to take less damage, and you're going to most likely deal with uh, taking blocks. So be sure to use dancers that are immune, are able to survive long enough for you to be able to take down either that or the second dancer that it swaps into. Staff boosts usually are helpful. Alright, let's go ahead and open up and see what we get. Of course, why not? <laughs> why wouldn't we need more of us to get more DNA? Definitely need the coins. Okay. I guess I don't mind that. Keeps right on low. In case of it, you may not know, it could get a hybrid. Even though it does, though, but I'm talking about the other one next to my legendary. And I guess. Definitely needed this, in case we're right low, really helpful there. Kinda a little too late already, since I already have its hybrid, a <laughs> grip glyph. Really nice. Okay. So that's pretty much um, all I gotta cover for today's video. 
Now, the first video is such a no that the extra tower is out and told you all how to beat it, gave my thoughts on it, and etc. Let me know in the comments below your thoughts on the extra tower here. Were you successful? What dance did you use? What rewards did you get from this extra tower, tower? Let me know. That would be appreciated. Hope you all did enjoy today's video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Check my channel, subscribe bell for more gameplay videos. And I will see you all in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.